Hello my lovelies, I hope you're all well. Now unless you've been living under a rock you're probably aware of a gentleman by the name of Andrew Tate. Now he has been kicked off of all social media as far as I'm aware, well all the main ones anyway, you know, the left-leaning ones. He's still on Rumble, I believe. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to have a look at this compilation of his best bits. I came from nothing. My rise was meteoric. Ocean, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Detroit, Luton, oh, Luton. the worst town in England. Now I'm sitting around with so much money. Someone said to me yesterday, you're big guy, that's like three million euro. And I was offended. This <laughs> Do you have any idea how much options cost a Bugatti? You think that sunroof is free, my G? It costs more than your house. VAT? Well, 5.2 M. I'm going to buy another Bugatti. When I was in Macedonia yes. uh, for a, a tournament, and me and my friend, we were out one night, and we were talking to these two Macedonian chicks, and these little, this little dude started running his mouth to my friend, and my friend, who's a fighter as well, threw him over a table. So they got in a fight, threw him over a table. Anyway, we left, and, and before he even got up, I grabbed my guy, and we got the club. I said, look, bro, we're in Macedonia. Yeah. We don't know who's who. So we went home, we went to sleep. Anyway, next morning, I'm having my breakfast. These two dudes come over to me and they said, oh, hello. I said, hello, he goes, we're here to kill your friend. <laughs> People have their little bits of happiness in the world. So they have, for example, a, 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 a kid, a daughter, and they have a dog. And they're like, oh, well, you know, Tristan, you fucking got the millions of dollars and all the beautiful women and the fast cars and you're tall and you're strong and all the women want you, but you know, I've got my daughter and my dog. Money can't buy that. Motherfucker, I've got a daughter and a dog too. And I've got all that shit. Depression's a fantastic motivation, but people are told the opposite. No, you should feel depressed, that's wrong. You should be happy anyway. Take the pills, stay home, take some time off. Complete garbage. You're depressed? Okay, get up. Go for a run, lift more weights, make more money, to get a second job. Yeah, you can outrun you depression. Can outrun you ain't got time depression. to be sad right. if you're getting where you need to get. You ain't got time for that. You can outrun it. If yes. you start working the jobs you need to do and you're training and you're trying to start your business on the side, you have no time to sit around moping. And before you know it, you'll wake up one day and you'll look at your life and go, wow. If someone comes to me and goes, ah. Oh. That is a very good point. Because, you know, that so many people are in their heads now and it's all mental health, mental health, mental health. Um, and the worst thing you can do, in my opinion, is wallow. And I know that there's like cr chronic depression, which literally puts people on their ass and they can't move. That's a bit different. I think a lot of people wallow in their own misery and it's all this oh why can't i have that they have that why can't i have that but they're not willing to put the work in to get that and i think that's what he's getting at you know if you if you're out there and you're hustling and you're doing the work and you're you know training and all that stuff then you don't have time to wallow and it's a very good point i think <clears throat> shy and anxious i'll say so not oh okay that must be horrible not so do it anyway yeah but i'm shy i don't care but no one cares the whole world doesn't care if you could drop dead tomorrow the world wouldn't care the sun's still gonna rise people are still gonna go to work so you're gonna sit here and worry about speaking getting rich is probably the worst thing that can happen to the majority of men i was broke for a very long time lived a very difficult life and then became rich that's why i am because if you're the man first and then you get rich yeah, you're absolutely. the man yeah if yeah, you're a punk and then you get you're rich, still a punk, now you're yeah. a massive punk. I have nothing to talk to women about besides either sleeping with them or the... Wait. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. I'm talking to you eventually so we fuck. Or we fuck so I continue to talk to you so we can oh. fuck again. I have no interest in talking about anything else. Oh, tell me what happened in Vampire Diaries today. Like, what does a brother and sister sit and talk about? How can you have the same interest as a woman? <laughs> I suck some either guy's dick. Oh, 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 knock, knock, who's there? Will Smith, Will Smith, Will Smith, I lost all respect for this guy, man. I liked him, and I don't like anybody. But I had nothing genuinely against him. But what? He's just a pussy. He's a bitch. I feel like it's it's healing that needs to happen. Mm -hmm. Healing, yeah, healing. I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. Yeah. Even though this is minuscule, I do feel like. It's <laughs> what does she do right there? What does she say? Yeah, who decides if it's minuscule or not? Yeah, it's minuscule, you know, even though this is minuscule. And why she does this is very simple. It's once again, it's a female tactic. If she says it's a minuscule thing and you're angry about it, mm -hmm. then you look petulant. You look 100%. childish. It's minuscule. So then now Will gets angry. Why are you so angry about yeah. a small thing? Fucking another dude for four years while married. <laughs> who says that's minuscule? 
And here's what you G's got to do. You get your bitches, you add them to a Telegram channel, one channel per hoe, where they can read your messages, but they can't reply. And you block them everywhere else. Hear me out. Then when you wake up in the morning, you write a generic, good morning, baby. Got lots to do today. Got to patrol the streets. Got to flex on the broke boys. Got to make money. Got to check on my casinos. Got to pimp other hoes. But if I have some time, I might try to see you. Miss you very much. This is the this is the stuff that people are so upset about. And because they're all like, he's a misogynist, he's a misogynist. I think it's a character. I think it's a character because he has like a long term girlfriend and stuff. I don't think that this is actually how he acts in his everyday life, but I would be interested to hear your perspective. But um he's done very well for himself out of this character. So and paste it in every channel to every bitch and they'll read that shit but then they can't go well you're always busy you're always with other hosts <laughs> do you not see the brilliance <clears throat> all they can do is read it it's all bullshit all feminism all girl empowerment all of this crap means nothing what have you learned under the under the pride flag there's certain points you're gonna need a man to defend your idea I mean, that's fact. That's what man's world, regardless of what your female view is, it's always been about different ideologies fought between men. When I talk to people, people say to me all the time, I have a business idea. I'll say, okay, cool. A week later, I'll say, how's your business? I'll go, what business? You have an idea, and it's been a week. Where's your fucking company? <laughs> Where's your business? It's been a week, you ain't done shit. People are lazy, people are slow, people yeah. are complacent, including you. Everything must happen instantly, quickly, fast, speed, attack. Hitler conquered Europe with blitzkrieg. You need to go quickly. I cannot emphasize this enough. Women are intrinsically lazy. If you show a woman how to make $1,000 in an hour, she'll think, I can work two hours a week. If you show a man how to make $1,000 in an hour, he thinks, I can make $18,000 a uh, day. You know what the if most I was getting $1,000 an hour, I'd probably work like two hours a day. <laughs> world is it's love and i mean this in a non in a non corny way when a man truly loves a woman and a woman truly loves a man and they're together ride or die no matter what that is truly beautiful and let me tell you something mm. let me tell you something a man can do things that men do and still be completely obsessed and head over heels in love with his woman mm. i know as a fact no matter what any of you say if you take another dick you will never love your man the same. I don't care what lie you try and tell. I don't care you saying, oh, it was just sex. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. You can't love your man and be sleeping with other men. And a man can truly be ready to die for a woman and sleep with another woman now and again. I'm not Shower gel is the biggest con in the I history mean, of you. In some ways, what he said there is true. Because women are... The way our brains work when we sleep with somebody is, you know, the hormone release is to make us connect. So in a way, what he's saying is true because men can sleep around and not feel anything for the women. Um, these days, women are told that they can do the same, but I'm not sure that it's 100% true. And I think that a lot of young women are kind of kidding themselves that they can live like a man and be happy. I don't think that that is the uh, is the, the route for happiness for women, personally. Don't come for me. Bar of soap I used was 19 cents. Shower gel I used was 199. You have a bar of soap for 19 cents. You have a shower gel for 199, but you need six shower gels to equal the amount of cleaning power as one bar of soap. Six shower gels at 199 is 1194, which means for 1194 you could get 62 bars of soap. For 62 times more, I expect to get in the shower with a whole bunch of naked hose. Do you want to be rich? Yeah, I want to be rich. How will you get rich? Everyone out there has a dream. But the very lottery. few people have a plan. If you're surrounded by people who have a plan to get rich, sooner or later you're gonna begin to make money. If you were in a room with ice cream experts, if all they talked about was ice cream and you were in that room, sooner or later when someone comes to you to ask you something about ice cream, you're gonna know the answer. I mean, point. But you're gonna accidentally know some shit about ice cream. 
If you're in a room with people who only talk about money, you understand what I'm saying? Every time I meet you know what? <clears throat> he has a very good point there. And it's part of the reason that I'm busting my ass to send my daughter to private school. Because she's going to be in the environment with children of successful people. And that's going to give her opportunities and connections that she wouldn't get in a normal state education. Um, so that is why I am busting my ass working evenings and weekends to pay for private school for her. Um, and also the... Uh, the ethos and the curriculum and just everything is so much higher. Um, the school that she's going to have a Church of England um, ethos. They're not a religious school, but that is their where they base their values is in the Church of England. And we are not a religious family, but I don't mind her going to a school that has those morals. You know, Um I didn't want her going to a fully religious school because I think then they focus too much on the religious education and the rest of it suffers. But yes, she is going to be around the children of successful people. And ipso facto, I will get to meet and my husband, these parents. Um, it's all about connections in this world. It's all about who you know. So, you know. Without drinking, I think fuck it. No, I need to hang around with this person. This person has fucked without drinking. They're permanently drunk. They're like they must be hyper in their minds. They must be supercharged, and they're permanently ready to do some fucking crazy adventure. And wake up the next day in another country with no clothes on. This person must be amazing. But instead of being amazing, they're actually the complete opposite. They're just boring yeah. fucks who don't know what fun is. The worst thing you can possibly do for your kids is make them grow up rich. That's the worst thing you can do. I was raised poor, I made all my own money, and I hope I spend it all before I die. And my son can fucking make it himself. Because all of life's important lessons come from being broke. The best things you can hope for as a head for a head start as a child are good parents and no money. If you have those two things, you're gonna be alright. If you're born with rich if you're born rich, you have no appreciation for anything, no appreciation for hard work. And you're always going to be, to one, to some level, a dickhead. <laughs> if any man, this is a, a red pill most people don't want to accept, but if any man, if you were to get any man on the planet and say to him, you have a wife and she loves you and she's going to remain loyal to you and you can still fuck around with other women, wow. do yeah. you want that yes or no? If any man's honest, he's going to say yes. For the longest period of human time, for a man to be respected, for him to even be admired by society on any level, to some degree he had to be a warrior. So if you're out here as a man and you have no battle in your life, no conquest in your life, no form of war in your life, well, let me do this. One of my largest problems with therapy is that it's an antithesis to my worldview. And my worldview is that action always wins. Momentum, speed, power, forward, forward, forward. Anyone who's done business with me knows the first thing I say is, okay, good idea. How quickly is it done? The sooner it's done, the sooner it makes money. If it takes two days instead of one day, that's one extra day we've lost we can never make money during. You want to be a millionaire? Do mm. things quickly. Action wins. Therapy is not action. Therapy is sitting and crying and complaining. Talk is not action. A fucking chit chat isn't action. Weaponizing your attention is the only thing you have. Mm. And that's the only weapon men have in the sexual marketplace, your attention. Typically, men give attention to get sex, and girls give sex to keep getting attention. Because yeah. even you talk about money and all this shit, that's all garbage. The only resource you have is your attention. And the reason it's so difficult is because now women get so much attention for no reason, then why does your attention have value? So you have to put value on your attention. So then how do you put value on your attention? Everything that's valuable, like gold, is scarce. So I don't give my attention to any girl I'm not banging. I don't follow you on Instagram. I don't fucking like your pictures. Like if you're, if we're not talking and literally actively going somewhere, my, you don't get my attention. Yeah. That gives it a value. And then they start sitting there and start liking your pictures. So I think this dude oh, yeah. ignores me. Yep. So I've got too many girls in the yeah, roster right now. I know. It's the way so that true. It's so true. Um, but I, I saw a, a story once. Um, the guy saying that there'll be a beautiful woman in a bar surrounded by like 10 guys who are all giving her attention you know they're lighting her cigarettes they're buying her drinks and then in walks the 11th guy who completely ignores her that's the guy she's gonna want and it's true it's true 
back. They're waiting. They're waiting. Back. For, like, nope. But most guys are so thirsty. Yeah. And because once the girl knows that she could get you, yeah. she loses value. You know, like why he wants to fuck you, dog. Yeah, they want the fantasy, they want the mystery, they want the story. Absolutely. My father was the OG. I was raised by probably the best father on earth. I really genuinely. But he wasn't that. around. It, it, but a father doesn't have to be around. This is the big mistake. This is another big mistake, especially among the conservatives and the trad cons and all this crap. The idea that a father needs to sit around like a second mother to make a child healthy is, is a fallacy. No, I In don't fact, think I'd it's... say it's detrimental to the child. I it, see all these dudes. I don't think it's um, like conservatives and traditional valued people that are saying that the father has to be there constantly like a mother. That's not what they're saying. They're just saying that the, the father should be present. That doesn't mean 100% of the time, you know? They have a kid and they basically become mother number two. Why? The mother keeps the child alive. As a father, it's your job to be impactful. You need to guide. You need to be a role model. You need to be a superhuman. Everyone should look at their father like a superhero. That's what you should genuinely view him as. It's hard to be a superhero if you're home every day arguing with your wife changing diapers. That's not what a man should do. A man should rock up, teach lessons, be impactful, and it's more about quality as opposed to quantity of time. When's the last time you text all your exes? Michael Bolton. And I'm missing you now. I miss you too. It's been so long. So how are things? <laughs> if you're what a man non-stop under stress, you're not going to be a high value man with a calm life. Your life's hectic. It's stress. There's problems. The easiest way to keep a man is be the only place he can find genuine peace. peace. Yeah. He comes home. The last thing on earth when he comes home he wants is a fight or an argument. If you can give a man true peace of mind, true where he can just sit, chill, and turn his brain off, even for 10 minutes, I swear to God he'll always be home. And if you can't give him that, you need to analyze why he ain't getting that from you. Because it's not that hard to give. Time is the enemy of the rich man, and cost is the enemy of the poor man. So when you're selling to the masses, you don't say, oh, it's 30 minutes quicker, but it's double the price. I bought 30 minutes. People wait for buses, bro. Poor people will wait an hour for a bus. I used to wait for buses. Poor people have time. They don't have any fucking money. And that's why a plane flies at the most economical possible speed for the engines they have. You need to make money now. And making money now when the prices are low is when you're building next portion. So it's very important, more than even during the days when it was going up to the moon, now is your chance to get some money, invest correctly, follow what we teach in Hustle University, and you can become rich. In two or three years, when the cycle starts again, you can become extremely rich. Do you believe the lessons that society are putting inside of people today are good lessons? I don't. I don't. I will not send my kids to school. I don't think they're going to learn anything. Do you know how many fucking teachers I've seen pissed out of their minds, sucking cock in fucking corner on, 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 on pub toilets? on cocaine i'm a teacher huh? you ain't got shit to teach my kid you're an idiot right i can teach him to fucking do math at home we have the internet we have unlimited information i can say google world war ii write a report boom talk tomorrow and with discipline my kid will know more than any kid in any public school without the indoctrination without all the fucking propaganda he has a point. Sick, which is an extremely rare occurrence for a man of my ability what i actually think has happened is a disease from space sent from aliens to wipe out the entire human race, landed directly on me. And the idea is that the average human would be dead in 30 seconds and pass the disease on, but it landed on the spot <laughs> So now here I am, alone, my immune system, battling this space disease to save all of humanity. So Good please job. comment thank you in the comments. Exeter, I'm going through this shit to keep you <laughs> Spider-Man's a pussy. He was a dork who got bit by a spider. Now he's super spider dork, and he still can't get laid. It's not working. You and me. What? He became super spider man, and then someone killed his uncle. Some robber killed his uncle. Does he hang the robber by his neck in the middle of the city with rope so he, uh, uh, and, and hangs him to death? No. He takes his ass down the police station to fill in paperwork. What kind of fucking superhero are you? He killed your uncle. And why does he still live with his parents? Spider man, you're a loser. No. Please. Please don't say that. Oh dear. Oh dear. So funny. So funny. Uh, you know why they cancelled him, right? Because a lot of what he says is true and people don't like that. Um, they want the message. <laughs> and Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan Tate, they go against the message. And they are um, 
inspiring young men to better themselves and to actually be masculine and that goes against what they what uh, the powers that be want they want men to be feminine for whatever reason um because it's easier to uh to take over feminine men than masculine men isn't it masculine men will stand up to corrupt governments but anyway let's not start talking about that sort of thing um i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you very soon